Well, hello. God bless you today, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And in this month, which is Women's History Month, I want to say to all the ladies out there, Bishop Wooden is for the women. Brother Gary, he's in here about producer, you know. I want you all to know, Brother Gary is for the women. We are for women. Thank God. When God made Adam, God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. And God said, I will make for him an appropriate helper. And I'm going to tell you, God got it right. I mean, he put Adam to sleep, took a rib out of Adam and formed a creature unlike anything that had ever walked the face of this earth and then brought her to Adam to see what Adam would call her since Adam had named all the animals and everything else. And Adam looked at her and said, now this is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. And uh, one translation says, uh, uh, translate now this as wow. And you know what? All you men out there know what I'm talking about because women, God built in the wow factor of women. And uh, I want to say to the women, uh, uh, I salute you. I thank God. My mother, Mother Gwendolyn Ellison is alive and well. My mother is a woman. My wife, Pamela Renee McNeil Wooden, whom I've been married to for 41 years and counting, she's a woman. My daughter, Crystal Amanchuku, what a, what a wonderful mother and preacher and woman of God she is. She's a woman, and I salute her. And uh, my granddaughter, uh, Pamela Jewel Amanchuku, she's a woman, and I salute her and all of the wonderful women of our church, our church mothers, uh, the the ladies who work up here at the church. Just just the women, women, uh, women. God bless you. I salute you in this uh, Women's History Month. But I I, I tell you, uh, yes, I'm headed somewhere. You know I am. Um, Unlike uh, some, I know what a woman is. Now, all the talk is about the question that uh, uh, Congress uh, 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 Senator Blackburn from Tennessee asked uh, Katanji Jackson Brown. Uh, Brown Jackson, let me get it right, excuse me. Katanji Brown Jackson, the nominee uh, for the Supreme Court. Uh, who will most certainly, I think, be uh, nominated. Uh, but a question was asked, and, and, and many of you out there, I hear you, you call, you call it a gotcha question and say it was an inappropriate question. I think it was one of the most appropriate questions that could have been asked. And it's a shame that in this day and time, America has disintegrated to the point that when one woman Ask another woman, can you uh, define the word woman that a Harvard educated woman who is being uh, considered to be uh, the next Supreme Court justice uh, replied, uh, I can't, I can't. Now, I don't believe that she couldn't any more than you do. Now, that she wouldn't, maybe we should discuss that. But for her to say, I can't, and uh, Senator Blackburn said, you can't. And, uh, uh, and, and, she, and then she says, not in this context. This is a direct quote. I am not a biologist. Now, could it be, my friends, that uh, this woman, this Supreme Court nominee, this judge, this learned smart, intelligent, African-American woman actually answered the question, whether she meant to or not. She said, I'm not a biologist. Now, uh, I find that to be an odd statement, don't you? Because now if we go by that, she said, I can't, I'm not a biologist. Well, right now, there are two categories of women 
uh, in America. There are the so-called biological women, <laughs> you know, the ones that God made. And then there are these laboratory jobs like uh, Richard Leland Levine. Oh, good old Richard. Richard Leland, Le Leland Levine, now known as Rachel Levine. By the way, USA Today uh, transgender official, one of USA Today's Women of the Year. Look at this man. Look at this man. And, and, and this during Women's History Month, in addition to uh, this nominee to the Supreme Court saying, I can't give a definition of a woman, this man is called Woman of the Year. Something is badly wrong. And, uh, and, and we talk, we're talking about Women's History Month. I'll tell you what's going on. If current trends continue, women, you may be history. Because, listen, uh, look at what old William Thomas is doing. You know William. You know good old William. That's what his mom and daddy named him when he was born. William. William Thomas. They were so excited about William. And uh, they had so, so, so many high hopes for good old Williams. And now William is a.k.a. Leela. Uh, Leah Thomas and you know William the guy while you know when he was swimming with men he was ranked 464 462 in the world and this guy figured out a way to become number one <laughs> just, just claimed to be a woman and swim with the women beat them all good and voila you're number one in the world <laughs> it's a disgrace. Forgive me for laughing, but I tell you what we see. We see all this. Oh, we see all this taking place during Women's History Month. Now, it's a disgrace that uh, a Supreme Court justice would feel pressured. And what's a greater disgrace is that many of you are out there saying, well, she gave the right answer. Oh, this was racist. Can you, hear, can you believe this? This was racism. Or uh, uh, Senator Blackburn was just trying to get her with a gotcha question. Well, for one woman to ask another woman uh, to give the definition, can you give a definition of a woman? Uh, if that's a, a gotcha question, our society is very low. I wish someone would ask me, uh, wouldn't give me the definition of a man. Well, my first answer would be exhibit A. Me. And then I would do preachers a pregnant pause. Then I then I would talk some more and and talk about what it is, uh, what makes me a man and what a man is. The definition of woman. I've never been to Harvard, but when they're born, the, the doctor says when the when the when the person is born, the doctors doesn't assign gender. Doctors notice the gender that God had assigned. God made in, in, uh, in some cases, she, it's a little girl. It's a girl and the girl grows up to be a little girl. A baby girl grows up to be a girl. Girl grows up to be a young lady. Young lady grows up to be a woman and the woman grows and so forth and so on. She gets married, whatever case be, but we live in a day now where the woman can grow to be a man. That's a lie from the pit of hell. And if you got to play politics with something like that, what does that say about Miss Brown? Now, Brother Gary, just show him the little clip when she was, uh, Miss Jackson, when she was nominated by President Joe Biden, among the things she brings up is her faith. And she goes to a non-denominational Christian church. I want to know, uh, preacher, what are you preaching? Because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if you're preaching from the Bible, you have given on multiple occasions, you've talked about what a woman is. And if, if, if the pastor's a guy and he's married, I, I, I pray to God he's married to a woman. And if he's not married to a woman, whatever else, I don't care what the Supreme Court says, the, the, any other combination is just a mess. And if it's a, a she and she's not married to a man, any other combination is a mess. So we, we're, we're in trouble here.
And I want to say to you, stand on the word of God. Don't be confused. And I want to say to my brothers and sisters of a darker hue, uh, uh, my black brothers and sisters, we, we proud Americans here. Don't be so loyal to any party that you will sell out what you already know. You know what a woman is. You know she knows what a woman is. I, I knew what a woman, I, as far as I can remember, I knew the differences between men and women. Uh, and that was before I went to school at all. Before I went to school at all, Gary, before I went to any class, I knew the difference between a man and a woman. I didn't need Harvard. And if going to Harvard, you leave Harvard and you don't, and you can't answer a question like that, my advice is stay out of, out of Harvard because they are messing your mind up. And I wouldn't be a part of any group. I wouldn't be for any uh, calls, I wouldn't stand by any movement that would would uh, allow me to keep me from differentiating between male and female. Uh, I'm just not that dumb, and you just can't you can't do that to me. And and, and lastly, I want to say we thank God for the nomination of uh, of, of, of of Judge Katanji uh, Brown Jackson. But you know. Would have been nice had they had the same love for J uh, Judge Janice Rogers Brown, who was nominated by President George Bush to the U.S. Court of Appeals, which would have put her well on her way to perhaps being the first black woman to be on the Supreme Court. But she was uh, uh, she was uh, pro opposed by civil rights groups and by senators, Democrat senators, led by Senator Joe Biden. So uh, maybe, maybe the Democrats wanted to be the one to put the first uh, black lady on the, on the Supreme Court. And, and this lady will be, uh, I think she'll be confirmed, uh, 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 Mrs. Uh, uh, Brown, uh, uh, Kentondra. Brown Jackson. She'll be confirmed, and I pray, I, I, bid her, I, I wish her well. But the reason that these questions and things in this line of talk is important is it gives you insight into the worldview of a, uh, of a person. And uh, people are who they are. People are who they are. And you know what? We're, we're going to have cases coming before the Supreme Court. And I'm out of time. I've run long. We're going to have cases where transgender issues are coming up. And I don't even have time to talk about her, her voting record with uh, pedophiles. I, I don't know why you would uh, sentence them below, below what the prosecutors recommend. Below what the prosecutors recommend. I don't know how you justify that. Uh, I think that when you're dealing with trying to protect our children, we should throw away the key. We should lock them up and throw away the key because children, children, the children are innocent. The children are victims. And uh, I believe in praying for people. I believe in uh, salvation. But we, we got to protect, protect our children. So, listen, I love you. I just wanted to weigh in on it. And, and during this Women's History Month, women, you need to get, you need to get upset about this. You need to, you need to say something. Because if the, if the trans woman has his way, then the biological woman may end up being a part of history. And everybody knows that the human race cannot survive without the biological woman. We'll be just fine. Matter of fact, we'll be, we'll be better off without these trans women. But that biological woman... The Bible teaches that the man is not without the woman and the woman is not without the man. You can't have a man. You can't have a child. You can't have a son or daughter without a mother, without a, I hate to say it in my clothes, a biological one. Now tonight, I, I want you to join me. We're having, uh, we're in our district meeting and uh, yours truly, uh, I will be preaching tonight. I will be preaching tonight. Oh, my, for the New Horizon District, my superintendent is Superintendent William H. Cooper II, and I'm honored to be able to, to, to have been asked to preach during the district meeting, and the Lord is going to bless us in a mighty way, and I am excited about it. So, join me here tonight for Bible preaching.
Yes, I'm going to preach the word of the Lord tonight and, uh, and God is going to bless us in a mighty way. And uh, I, I want to close by saying, let us pray for our nation. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. It's a sad day when you can't answer a question uh, that is so simple. It, it's a sad setting where you feel you got to hedge and say, I cannot give the definition of a woman and these words were spoken during uh, Women's History Month by a woman. We'll see you tonight.